Hi, I'm Jamie from Myers, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you around Morton Road in Owen Moyne. This is a three bedroom, semi detached, beautiful thatched, characterful cottage in a stunning village. Um, about 10 minutes drive from Dorchester and about a 15 minute drive from Weymouth. The village itself has got a beautiful community feel. There's uh, plenty going on in the village hall, events and activities, and there's nearby pubs and cafes and garden centres uh, within a short driving distance as well. So what I want to do is just uh, take you, have a look at the street scene. Lovely and quiet. See plenty of different style properties, uh, thatch properties included and a lovely stream frontage. And then we're gonna go and take a look inside the cottage. So, going on into the sitting room, where you can see the main focal point of this room is the lovely Ingle Nook fireplace uh, with a, a working open fire. There's plenty of space uh, for seating, exposed beams, and we've got doors leading to the um, two further reception rooms. A door leading uh, to the kitchen, dining room and the bathroom and a door uh, leading to upstairs. It's got a front aspect window providing plenty of light as well. So let's uh, take a look in the second reception room which the current owners use as a dining room. And this room is dual aspect so it's got plenty of light. Space for your dining table and again there's another stone fireplace here, um, which has the ability for, for an open fire as well. Let's go and take a look at the third reception room. Now the current owners use this as a, a study stroke storage room. Fantastic if you've got a family where um, people are doing homework or if, if you are now working from home and need a home office space. There's a front aspect window providing natural light. Um, plenty of quirky beams and exposed stonework in this stunning cottage, as you can see. Now we're going to head to the back of the building um, where there was an extension carried out which now has the kitchen dining room and the uh, downstairs bathroom. So uh, the kitchen, as you can see, is a modern fitted kitchen with a rear aspect window that overlooks the stunning gardens. There is a side door as well, a stable door uh, that takes you to the uh, parking spaces uh, to this property which is off-road parking and just outside there is a large storage shed there as well. There's also room here for a breakfast table and um, you have uh, space for your appliances um, to the left hand side here. So we're going to have a look um, in the bathroom. Now the bathroom uh, offers a low level WC, a wash hand basin, um, you've got a bath and an overhead shower and there's also um, a rear aspect window providing uh, natural light in the bathroom as well. So let's go and take a look upstairs. Um, the landing itself um, is, a, is a very generous landing and it's got a side aspect window which again is uh, providing plenty of light. Because the landing is so um, large um, and you've got these lovely exposed um, timber beams as well. You have got room here as you can see for a further desk or an exercise area and this leads to the three double bedrooms. So we're going to have a look at the uh, bedroom one which is the largest bedroom. You've got a large front aspect window which is providing plenty of light. You've got plenty of uh, built-in wardrobes and uh, just to the side of me here as we look around you'll see that there's also space for a freestanding wardrobe as well. Take you to the second bedroom. Currently a teenage bedroom and uh, as you'll see in a second there is room for a double bed. Could be an amazing uh, guest room. Got a side aspect window with this room. Again very light. Um, some exposed beam work as well, giving you plenty of character. There's also space uh, for freestanding wardrobes as well. And finally, 
I'm going to go down the end of the landing, which is going to take us uh, to the third bedroom. Now the third bedroom has a rear aspect window overlooking the lovely cottage gardens, which we're going to have a look at in a second. So this um, room does have space for a uh, double bed. It currently has a single bed in, but there is plenty of room for a double bed if needed. Again, you've got the exposed beamwork giving you the character. Plenty of light streaming through the, the rear aspect window. You've got space for your wardrobe and currently housing a, um, an office desk as well. So we'll go, uh, go to back downstairs and out the stable door and we'll have a look at the rear garden. Coming out the side door here, you'll be able to see uh, the parking facilities to this property, which is a hard standing off-road parking area to the side of the property, which then leads us to the large uh, storage shed. And we've got a side aspect uh, gate here, which has a pathway with some steps up leading to the rear garden. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you this fantastic little outbuilding, which is to the side of the property. And the current owners use this as sort of a separate study area, but it could be um, storage uh, if you're into outdoor sports and want to store sort of kayaks and things like that. There is power and lighting here, so it could be a workshop um, if you're into um, woodwork and things like that as well. So. Um, the garden itself is beautifully uh, landscaped. It's got different seating areas, including this one here, which is a raised deck area, which is lovely, as you can see, uh, laid out there uh, for either evening or lunch times, um, in this case for breakfast. Got a large lawn area, fantastic for children playing, or if you're a keen gardener, um, there's scope here for large you know, flower beds, etc. Um, we've got the original privy here, uh, which is now um, a brick sort of storage shed. And the current owners uh, at the end of the garden here had this timber constructed summer house stroke studio uh, built at the end of the garden with this decked terrace area. And there's a, a, an amazing seating area, which is stunning uh, in the evenings uh, with your chimney going, etc. To the side of that, there's a graveled area with some raised vegetable beds but if you are a keen gardener again you could expand this and have a large vegetable patch as well inside the summer house um, there is power and lighting could be used as a storage um, area a studio a home office or a teenage den as the current owners do. So um, if you've got any questions, I'd be delighted to help. My name's Jamie from Myers. My contact number is 01305 259 436. Please give me a call if you want to book a viewing or if you have any further questions. Take care.